Skinner in the mid 20th century inherited the mantle of the father figure of behavioralism from Watson. He believed that we can both predict and thus control behavior. Thus, by manipulating the environment, we can change the individual. And he firmly believed that by manipulating the environment in the right way, in a thoughtful manner, we can change individuals for the better. Inspired by the work of Thorndike and his law and effect, he devised the learning theory, operant conditioning, which can be defined as a learning process in which the consequences, which follow a response, determine the likelihood that the behaviour will be repeated in the future. So behaviour is strengthened when it's been reinforced, therefore more likely to recur. And behaviour is weakened when it's been punished, less likely to occur. So Skinner devised the Skinner box to identify how the consequences of actions affected future behaviour. So in terms of some of the key aspects of the Skinner box, it contained a lever that was used for both positive and negative reinforcement. The positive reinforcement in the, in the form of food was delivered through a food dispenser after lever pressing. There was an electric grid on the floor that would deliver painful electric current. There was a light that went flashed. It was a warning signal to the rat that the electric current was about to come. So in order to provide motivation for behaviour, Skinner used hungry rats that were placed in his Skinner box. And much like the cats in Thorndike's puzzle box, initially the beh their behaviour was random until they inadvertently hit the lever which resulted in the immediate rewarding of a food pellet. Now it didn't take the, long, the rats long to learn that lever pressing resulted in the positive outcome of receiving a food reinforcer. So therefore the consequence of receiving food, which was the desirable stimulus, ensured that the lever pressing behavior would be repeated again. This is positive reinforcement. Now initially Skinner used a continuous reinforcement schedule which results in the fastest rate of acquisition, i.e. every time the rat hit the lever, a food pallet would be delivered. Then later on he went to a partial schedule and I'll go through this in a future YouTube clip. And as stated earlier, the Skinner box was also used for negative reinforcement. So the rat was subjected to an aversive stimulus, an unpleasant electric current. And again, the random act of lever pressing switched off the electric current. So the consequence of escaping the electric current, the aversive stimulus, ensured that the behaviour would be repeated, i.e. lever pressing. Later on, Skinner would switch on the signal light just prior to turning on the electric current and again the rat fairly quickly learned the association between the light and the electric current and the lever pressing so the light would be switched on the rat would rapidly hit the lever to remove that aversive stimulus that is the behavior of lever pressing had been reinforced to remove the aversive stimulus. Thus, we have negative reinforcement. 